Who is Josh Gibson? I could list 10 players we don't have, but it would be a better ad. Go get people we want. You guys act like they have a choice to put Barry Bonds in the game, but Barry doesn't want to be involved in licensing his likeness to anything MLB. All right, today I'm going to go through a lot of the community responses to what MLB The Show 24 has released in terms of content and news so far. There's a lot of things that people are talking about that I did not realize they were either upset about or happy about. There seems to be a lot of division in the community right now about the game and what people want from it. This isn't clickbait. I'm going to go through the first woman that's going to be introduced in the game and some more of those storylines and news that they have put out. All right. And I'll get to that. If you want to get to the community responses, I'll put a chapter down below. You can skip to that to see what I'm talking about. MLB The Show 24 has released news that they will include the Negro League Season 2 storyline. If you don't know, there has been a well-established storyline in MLB The Show 23, giving us the backstories of the uh, the founding fathers of Negro League Baseball, pretty much. You know, you have Rupe Foster, Satchel Page. I hope you have heard some of these names. And if you haven't, this is a great way to educate um, yourself and just expand upon your education because personally I did not know a lot of these backstories other than the big names such as Jackie Robinson and Satchel Page. but MLB The Show 23 had these storylines where you play as these players in, in single moments, eventually get their cards, add them to your team, and have a full team of Negro Leagues players, uh, of the players you see here and their legends. Now, they each have a, a video at the end of it where you can watch and videos all along where you get the backstory, like I said. Great introduction, I think. Um, a lot of people don't care for it as much, apparently. But anyway, this is here. This is here in the game. If you didn't play 23, you can watch some of these videos online or read up on them. And there's that. Now, in MLB The Show 24, they're expanding on that by introducing more Negro Leagues legends some big names now what's great about this is the mlb website has a negro leagues page dedicated to these players their teams there's pictures videos um everything you need to know to learn up on these people you see some of the names here in the game that you saw last year buck o'neill and then a whole list of others hank thompson john donaldson josh gibson who will be introduced this year so you can go through, it's really, it's not like a Wikipedia page where everything's all over the place, but if you want to find out more on these on these players, you can go look them up on Wikipedia as well. But very good briefs here, just a quick one-pager on all of these players. All right, and we're going to go back to that. Now, all right, Tony Stone, pioneer for women in pro baseball. She was the first woman to play professional baseball regularly in a major men's professional baseball league. And the player she replaced at second base when she joined the American Negro League or Negro American League, none other than Hank Aaron. Yes, Hank Aaron did play second base for a little bit. All right, so that's when Hank Aaron went to the MLB. Uh, this is, it's an incredible addition. All right, Ernie Banks, Hall of Famer for the Cubs, speaks very highly of her, saying a very good baseball player. Um said that Stone was smooth after seeing her play for the Kansas City Monarchs, who you got to see in the Negro League storyline season one, uh, with Banks, who also played from 1950 to 1953. All right, she was born in St. Paul, Minnesota, and then uh, you guys should go on, on the website and read more about her. She reportedly got a hit off the greatest pitcher in Negro League history, Satchel Page, and then she retired from professional baseball following the 1954 season. Now, here's the video. It's a quick video. I'll show it. If you want to skip it, go ahead. It's only a minute and 20 seconds that MLB The Show 24 posted today. Before Henry Aaron was hitting home run after home run to break Babe Ruth's all-time record... He was an 18-year-old kid living out his dream in the Negro Leagues a league born out of necessity that went on to produce some of the greatest players of all time and become a driving force for change in this country. Like Josh Gibson, arguably the greatest home run hitter of all time, who is said to have hit a ball completely out of Yankee Stadium. And his Hall of Fame Thunder Twin teammate, Buck Leonard, 
who could tear the cover off a fastball and pick it at first like no one else could. And we should never forget Tony Stone, who broke barriers by playing regularly in a major men's professional baseball league. Miss Tony Stone, a 23-year-old, is the first woman ever to perform in the NBA. This is Storylines, The Negro Leagues, Season 2. All right, so we got that. That's their kind of second big video they've put out. You saw some screen, you know, you see screenshots here of the players from the video. You got Josh Gibson, who was known as the Black Babe Ruth, Buck Leonard, baseball's greatest fastball hitter, Hank Aaron, the hammer. And we've already had Hank Aaron in the game, but there he is again. And Tony Stone, the trailblazer, first woman player in MLB The Show in the franchise. That's going to be a great addition in my opinion, but we'll, we'll go through what the community says. Let's go through some of the Instagram posts. I haven't been diving into the comments too much. I have a little bit. Here you start seeing some of the Negro League posts. This one, I, I'm really confused about what people care about in this game right now. And I see some posts talking about they want better graphics, like right here. They've been using the same graphics for the past six years, apparently. I don't know. And that's not the only comment I've seen on graphics, all right? Now, I've seen other content creators respond to other people, whether it be on Twitter, Instagram, about graphics. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people, more people than I realized, care about the graphics not being updated. And I didn't realize they weren't, haven't been updated in a while. And I know a lot of these people are probably comparing it to games like 2K, where the graphics are updated frequently, almost every year. And I just did not realize uh, how much it mattered to people. I personally think the visuals in the game look great. However, could they use some revamping? Sure. It's not the most important thing to me, but I, I'm now realizing how important it is to a lot of other people. Uh, it's not definitely not the top of my list. As someone who plays the game very frequently, it's not the top of my list. I think the game looks fine, but we'll move on. A lot of people care about that, apparently. Let's go back to some of the Instagram posts. No. This is this is good. So the four legends we just talked about, one of them being Hank Aaron and one of them being um, Tony Stone, the first woman in the game. We're going to go through some of the comments and just look and realize how much apparently people just don't care that these players are going to be in the game at all. All right, Tony Stone. How are you going to how are you all going to bring a girl in the game, but not Barry Bonds? All right. Uh, man, the Negro League stuff got old fast. I see the graphics haven't changed at all, and everyone still looks lifeless and looks like the PS4 era. All right, that's kind of valid, I guess, but like I said, not important to me. Um, no, that's okay. I don't want Beltre or Bonds. This is exactly what everyone wanted. The graphics are the same. Nice. That's cool, but it seems like you were about to sell us the same game again. This is like sort of, I don't know, call it bias or whatever. A lot of, I don't know how the algorithm on all these social media platforms works, but I know they're going to put the most, you know, the comments with the most traffic and most responses to it on here. So these could be a select few comments that a lot of people don't agree with and they don't side with these people why there's so many responses to them, but they also have a lot of likes. Now, I'm sure if we scroll down and see a lot more of the comments on all these legends and all these negative comments about the games, we'll see a ton more positive comments and that's usually the case. So we're not going to go and take all of this for what it's we're not going to take this at surface level, all right? Take it with a grain of salt. There's still a lot of people who are saying positive things about this. But here's there's a lot of stuff that I did not realize people were uh, upset about. Like I said, one being the graphics, two being the Negro League's legends not really doing it for them. If you're questioning, if you're me, I'm, you're buying the game every year. If you play the game every year, you're buying it, you're taking what they're giving you. And you're making the most out of it. You're having fun with it either way. That's what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> I see some people or I see some people responding to my comments on Instagram saying, that, you know, I'm a shill for accepting low quality uh, products or something. I, I don't know. I think the game is still great every year. I The one thing that actually really bothers me more than any of this stuff, any of the content is the next generation console copies they should not be on the same generation uh there's a lot of online cross play in this that gets really choppy and laggy especially when you go to, you know between old gen and new gen i think that really needs to be fixed it should have been fixed this year i'm bummed it's not 
I really hope it is next year. Anyway, back to this. This is the kind of stuff like I, I, I usually I get excited to see what they have. Negro League season two, I'm all down. I'm down for it. I'm all for it. I want to see what these legends are like. I know it's only a couple players right now, but I think they'll do more with it. Um, I like just seeing what they put out. And yeah, I do. I take it for what it's for what they're giving it for me. I'm not going to go complain about things like I'm not going to go complain about things like graphics when I what I really care about is game modes and legends now if you do care about graphics then you should i guess complain about it or at least raise your voice about it but i just like i said i didn't realize how many people cared about some of these things stop making this game for last gen consoles all right i agree with that i really love joe dimaggio lou bordeaux brandon phillips roger clemens barry bonds roger maris doug okay so this is just someone and a lot of people are doing this mentioning a lot of other legends they would like to see in the game completely fair don't, that's completely fair now where's the other post i saw oh yeah this one uh i bet 95 percent of the mlb show community could care less about the 1950s legend getting at it if i just saw this before reading everything else i would lose my mind but apparently this guy's a little bit right a lot of people really don't care about a lot of the old players even some of them like babe ruth jimmy fox hank aaron just cornerstones and actual definition of the the word legend legends in the game who is josh gibson i could list 10 players we don't have but would be better ad it would be a better ad go get people we want right now there's also the argument that adding these guys doesn't take away from adding other players it's just a complete addition technically it does yes they have to spend money for rights so they have a budget you know they they can't just buy every legend rights that ever existed and play baseball all right, so <laughs> Buck and Nutsy brings up a good point here, or Nutsy Poo. Uh, last year, they signed a multi-year partnership with the Negro Leagues to put players in the game. So like, they're going to keep doing that. You, you, you got to remember, if you if you want Alex Rodriguez, Manny Ramirez, Barry Bonds, I'm not saying it, it's not going to happen, and I'm not saying it, it's, it's going to happen soon because we got Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire, but just remember, we just got Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. Two guys... You know, obviously you took accusations and one of them just fully admitted to using steroids back in the game and got some pretty decent cards. Whether you like these players or not is up to you, but, you know, we were probably going to get more people from the steroid era, whether they were on the Balco list or not. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, talking about look up Balco, B-A-L-C-O. Um... We're going to get more of those guys. I don't know if we'll get Barry Bonds. Like, that's a rights issue. I think Barry Bonds straight up doesn't want to be in the game. I just don't know the guy. Game has the least amount of legends out of any major sports games. They need to give us legends. Sports game. I didn't I didn't realize that. Um, you know, I know there's legends in, in 2K. I know there's legends in NFL, too. Or in uh, Madden. So, I didn't realize. I, I honestly thought MLB would have had the most. I would have taken a guess at that. And I guess I would be wrong. I think I'll be okay. I'm a baseball fan and haven't heard a single person ever bring up, bring dude up in a single conversation, stat, comparison, debate, home runs, absolutely nothing. All of 1,500 people interacting with the tweet makes it seem like a lot of other people don't know. All right, never heard of him. <clears throat> this, is, <laughs> this is in response to Buck Leonard. Never heard of him. And then people say, oh, why do we need Black History Month? Good point, man. Like, I just feel like this is so important. And even if it's not, they're going to do it. They they signed the deal with Negro Leagues for a good reason. They want to do it. I I'm on the side of this is awesome. I love all this stuff. I love the history. I love learning about these players. If you're gonna complain every year that Barry Bonds and Alex Rodriguez and Manny Ramirez aren't in the game, you know what? You know the controversy around those players. We're lucky that we even got Sammy Sis and Mark McGuire, but we did. Wait, here's a good one. You guys act like they have a choice to put Barry Bonds in the game, but Barry doesn't want to be involved in licensing his likeness to anything MLB so they can just out Barry Bonds in the game. Why should I care about these players? Not trying to be insensitive, just want a genuine reason. Should we take out Babe Ruth of the game too? Because history should be recognized. A, gener a generation or two from now, people will ask the same thing about the guy in your profile pic. How will you respond to that question? This is all great, like, banter uh, it's great dissent i'm really surprised a lot of people are against this though let me ask you this would you not care or would you not have this uproar if they just put barry bonds and a rod in the game right would you be saying all these things that you're saying about the negro leagues 
if they just put your favorite player in from when you were growing up as a child. Because in five and ten years from now, it, while while you were complaining about Barry Bonds and A-Rod and Ichiro not being in the game right now, it's going to be some other kids complaining about, I don't know, like Corey Kluber if he doesn't come back, <laughs> which he might be in the game this year. Or like, you know, someone complaining about Miguel Cabrera not being in the game a couple of years from now. Like, I, I don't, I just don't, What what's going to make you happy? It's it literally, it just seems like Barry Bonds. I just don't know why you guys get your hopes up. Anyway, I've seen things over the years on it, and I do appreciate what they do for the game. I'm just more of a modern baseball fan if you catch my drift. I'd rather play with Troy Tulowitzki than play with Josh Gibson. I don't know. Maybe I'm the odd one out. You're actually not, man. A lot of people apparently agree with you, and that's fine. I would like Troy Tulowitzki to be in the game, too. I think, like I said, these games, they have a budget, man. This isn't just... um. I, the good thing about this dis, this discussion is a lot of people have good imaginations about what they could put into the game. It's a project, man. This is a business that they're selling. It's a product. And to be perfectly honest, if it's the same price of every other video game, as long as they're working on it each year and expanding it a little bit, I'm okay with that. Um, I don't know what how 2K is keeping up, FIFA, NHL, Madden. I don't know how they're keeping up with all this stuff. I don't know. I can't compare it. All right. For me, as long as they're growing a little bit each year, whether it's new game modes, new legends, it's just a little bit, uh, the more, the better, you know, um, console generation, uh, upgrades and stuff like that. As long as they're working on it, I'm fine with it, but they just can't do everything. They can't do everything in one year. And they might have to sacrifice taking out a couple of elements each year and replacing it with new ones. If you want to play a baseball video game with Troy Tulowitzki, I think the only way to do that right now, I'm only laughing because the only way to do that is to go back and play MLB The Show 10, 11, and 12, and things like that. Um, before Legends were introduced into any video game, that was the only way you could do it. So continue this down in the comments below. Please keep it respectful if you do, and let me know what you think of all this. All right, I want to hear your opinions. And I won't bash anyone for their opinions. I get it. We already went through most of them on social media anyway. All right. So continue it down below. Keep it respectful. If you like, drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.